uh, it's a little bit more of a like a mobile tank kind of battle. Uh, Mega Man does play that sort of run and gun mid range uh, game style, but instead of the Falco, we are going to be seeing a a DD, a, a DD, which I guess makes a little bit more. Maybe he's a DD player. That's just wrong. I it know, could be. Could be. Could be. Uh, I have to say something I love about doubles compared to singles is you're going to see, a, and I think in Squad Strike too, you're going to see a lot more characters that you normally wouldn't see. Um, and like higher placements, like Zelda, for instance, you never will really see them at tournaments. Uh, very low player base. Mega Man, Corrin, I feel like I never see. And that's just part of it to me. Like, a character can be kind of considered low tier in singles, but still do amazingly in doubles. It's so meta and it's just so great. Uh, and I think that Corrin, Mega Man is such an interesting team. You're going to get a lot of range, you're going to have a lot of these projectiles thrown out. Uh, from Mega Man and the uh, Paralyze, I don't know what it is, like the... Uh, yeah, the Dragon Shot. Yeah, from Corrin. It's... Doubles always offers a little bit more uh, incentive, and it can either heighten or reduce weaknesses, and for the, in the case of uh, that combo, it shows off just how explosive Sonic can be. And what I always find about Sonic is, like, despite the, the runaway kind of nature of his game plan, Sonic is an extremely good character racking up damage very quickly and covering a lot of space very suddenly, which is amazing in doubles because suddenly you can gain a lead and gain a lot of uh, positional advantage yeah. without even needing to commit that hard, which, uh, hey, you can, you're definitely going to want to do that with a DDD on your side as Beef, uh, unfortunately not able to get back to save their partner, but still both teams rather in the same position up until that forward and almost taking the stock. Yeah, it looks like a pretty even game so far. Both teams, five socks apiece, both uh, people with three socks 100% plus. Um, everybody looking to see, like, they've migrated to the right side of the stage. Everybody just trying to get back to, from ledge and edge guard. It's kind of crazy what we're seeing right now. Yeah, I'm wondering what the plan is for Haas here, but it really seems like Red Team wants to bully a little bit, wants to focus on a uh, John Cena fan. Like, they're looking for a little bit more of the of the stock approach where you're just going to whittle down one teammate so far that you don't need to worry about c catching Sonic at this high percent. You take one or two stocks off of Beef and four off of Cena, you're feeling pretty good. However, it is a lot more, a lot easier said than done as the reverse pin kick ends up closing down Beef trying to get to the other side of the stage. Got to be careful of your proper positioning. Oh, oh unfortunate yeah. SD there from House. Looking like very even game still, to, uh, or sorry, slight uh, loss from uh, Austin Bowski. Uh, looks like DD is up in the air right now. House trying to go for the up air, just juggling, but not quite going to get it. Gordo is so funny in this matchup, because in, in doubles in general, as the pin does take this off, because you're changing your, uh, it changes your knockback angle. So the up air that could have killed a little bit earlier ended up uh, not killing because of that previous. Uh, previous Gordo, and it's just so much harder to deal with. Look at how far this Gordo can run and just deal so much damage per each hit as everything starts to evolve into a scramble. Vapuria not getting a chance to really set up onto the floor, get up with these lemons, and gets punished for it hard. And Haas there, just, er, excuse me, John Cena fan, beautiful up air coming out, able to take the stock. It looks like we are kind of going to need to see uh -oh. some good momentum coming out from the red team here. As Beef edge guards uh, Valkyrie, very good, but is able to get back. Pinning, pinning back and forth, and this is, we're seeing the real uh, power potency of Sonic in the in uh, any situation. Being able to stock tank with so reliably as this is a huge punish, not going to get too much charge on it. Instead, trying to get this stock off of Cena. Bacteria and Ooh. Haas only, uh, both at extreme percent, but it is Cena that drops their stock first, and then B, B follows shortly after. This is the power of doubles, ladies and gentlemen. Even at 161, you're able to transition this into a 2v1, a very doable 2v1, but a 2v1 nonetheless. And Haas can play this very safe, as well as Valkyria keeping, uh, trying to keep Cena out and trying to keep their teammate alive. Almost on SD there, coming out from Cena. Oh, Ooh, Cena! Get the I love that transition from Cena. You see him walk. You saw him walk forward. We'll get it on the replay. But can Haas manage this? Yes. Uh, no, they cannot. Looks like they cannot. That was a really close set there. Oh my gosh. It looked like for a moment that they were going to be able to do it, but Cena was able to clutch out the 2v1 and able to take game one. Yeah, uh, we, it was so well played from Cena in a, in a lot of regard because they would 
give these little micro movements because yeah. we're gonna watch the the final stock. But it's really this the little bit before Mega Man falls. This right here. So Mega Man's thrown off stage, and in this position, Cena jumps forward. He jumps forward like they're going to take center and pressure Haas, who's at 161, yep. and you have to be afraid of that. But as they jump forward, he preps a back air, his actual target being Valkyria, knowing that Valkyria is in a much more su uh, susceptible position to their stop being taken, despite the percentages. And as we see Cena focus on Valkyria and then commit to it, going off stage and finishing the edge guard with Haas not being ready to follow up on that. We could have potentially seen something like a down air come out from Haas if they wanted to go for a stock trade, but they were playing much more reserved and Cena took advantage of that twice over. It's just amazing on like how well these players are playing and just the level of competition that they have and awareness. It's just... I, I love Smash, dude. <laughs> it's crazy. Yo, this game? Pretty good. It's I'm gonna be honest good. with you. <laughs> but still, that was an extremely tight set because we saw Red Team's plan work. It just worked a little bit too late. Yeah. So if you're able to play in that little bit more of a a little bit more of a rooted game plan, a little keep those percentages a little bit uh, lower, or by punishing the blue team in uh, a lot harder with some of these juggles that they got off of on, off on Cena, then especially on a wider stage like oh, Town and City, you can really see that red team reverse two opens. Yeah, they're gonna have a lot more space to kind of just do what they want and throw out these projectiles, keep them at distance, and on pressure. I'm curious to see if they're gonna change their target from Cena to Beef this game, uh, or if they're just gonna stick around with trying to whittle down uh, Cena fan. I feel like it's very dependent on how offensive Beef wants to be. And right. as you mentioned, Beef is or rather is prone to more defensive habits and play style. So hitting Beef may be difficult, but they may not need to. Oh, looks like oh. Beef is going to get the edge guard here. Not quite enough oh, range. Oh, it, it does. Not the hit, but enough Buddy. fear to force uh, Valkyria into an early air dodge. Oh, combos. You know, it, it's really simple, but I really like the homing attack into up air. I think it looks very, very satisfying. Either way, Beef really doing a much better job of honing in on their offensive presence and not letting not letting Red Team consistently find their way back as they're looking for the stock on the Corrin, but Haas gets down just in time and are leaving uh, leaving Cena stuck in between two Red Team members. Ooh, Haas. Baki Ray trying to go for the fair there, not quite gonna get it, but Haas is able to capitalize and take the stock from Cena. Beef at 112, so pretty close game once again. Yeah, keeping things tight, but that first stock dropped off of Valkyria is really proving susceptible, though the back air comes in clutch, and it is blue team down to their four stocks first. Haas doing a, uh, almost changing uh, roles with red team here. Haas now playing the stock tank. Ooh, not quite going to get the stock there. Haas. Oh, Cena going deep for that uh, edge guard, but not quite going to get it in a pretty sticky situation himself. Wow, the fact that Valkyria dropped that stop early and then Haas immediately after, what a absolute what an absolutely crazy exchange over here between these two. And it's really Beef's edge guarding that has turned up a notch and has forced Valkyria into harder and harder positions as that up air into grab comes through. Gonna get a hit on the Gordo. Haas looking pretty good right now. Able to juggle up Cena fan. Get the jab off stage. Yeah, leaving the roll there. It's solid stuff and trying to force Beef into a... Look at Valkyria playing the They're wall just... here as Haas goes to town on this edge trap, forcing Cena into worse and worse situations. Finally, Beef gets by, but not after 123 has been done onto Cena at this point. Very, that's exactly what they needed to try and get back into this game as they start poking away. Almost killing Beef there in a pretty good spot on the platform. Missing the upper instead going for forward air at that point. Okay. Closing out the stock here is going to need to be huge as this damage gets more and more on all players' parts. Beef in a bad situation. Gonna get back on stage, but is gonna get grabbed. Up throw not quite gonna kill. And yeah, meanwhile, the back air from center stage took it off of beat, uh, took it off of Cena. As once again, we may see a two-stock trade. This up throw will do it. Cena, all right. Just going for the suck and then not doing anything afterwards. Red team in a pretty good situation right now. Does have the stock lead. 
Yeah, but we're really going to see here and what it may come down to if not for an early if not for early situations, we may see Haas in a very dangerous 2v1. It's going to be on Valkyria how much da how much survivability you have or how much damage are you able to output in this stock early assuming Haas doesn't get edge guarded by Beef who went for it once more. Haas sadly was going to hit able to hit uh, Vakir their teammate with the up air and did allow for Beef to capitalize off of it. Taking their stock. Haas not in the best situation right now. Yeah, 2v1, but this time it's it's mid percents for all players, so juggling is going to get harder and harder. I like the down air there, take the hit, get your jump back, see if you can recur some of these resources and force things, especially on this platform layout, force things to the side of the stage. I like that pin there. That was a really smart pin, but... It, <laughs> well... <laughs> DDD dash attack. Well, so funny. DDD dash attack is just broken. I, I don't even know what no, else to no. say. It's, <laughs> It's Look at it linger here. Like he is on his face, sliding butt. forward, and the, what is that? <laughs> the man explodes. I, I, it's so I, it's so funny. Uh, lingering hitboxes be damned. So this good. was very, very well played on the blue team's part. Yeah. <laughs> that that, that did not. That, look, no. look at him go. Look, look at him. Look at him slide. Come on, DD. But these two played. Uh, these Push. two played did a great job of playing the stage very well. Yeah. I mean, every time it was always Beef trying to take that step forward, trying to apply the pressure from so far because Beef can cover stage so well. And it was John Cena fan playing the reactionary, playing the do I get hit uh, or does Beef get the hit and how can I follow up? And Town and City offered that uh, a little bit stronger than PS2 did because there was times where their center platforms in mid-stage weren't a factor and they could chase down hit stun without much uh, interrupting them. Right.